in this video, I am going to show you how to create an AWS SSM distributor package for this CrowdStrike antivirus agent. I'll be using Amazon Linux 2023 as a platform and we'll be creating this package for an advanced option. Okay, let's get started. And I also assume that you already have downloaded the CrowdStrike agent for the Amazon Linux 2023 on your local system. Once that's done, go to your AWS account and log in there and go to AWS System Manager Service. Once there, scroll down, click on Distributor, and then you will see this Distributor screen here. Here we'll be clicking on this Create Package button to create our package. So click here. Now click on Advanced option. Before you proceed further, we need to complete few of the prerequisites. These pre prerequisites are to create three files. These files will be to create our install, uninstall, and manifest files. The first file you need to create is called as install.hsh, and the name should be exactly the same. And in that file, simply give this command dnf, which is a dandified gem or the new version of gem. And we are installing this CrowdStrike agent which you have just downloaded from CrowdStrike website. This number could be different, uh, but I'm using this latest version 6.58. Now, the second file which you need is uninstall.sh, which will have this again DNF with remove option of this agent. Third file which you need to have is the manifest.json file, and the format should exactly be the same. And I will drop the link in video description for all these three files so that you can modify them as per your own use case. Okay, now let's go through this manifest file quickly. The first line should be as is. In the second line or the line number three in the file, the version is 6.58. It is the version of my CrowdStrike and you can change it, change it as per your own CrowdStrike agent version. This publisher name could be anything. It could be your company, department, or whatever. And then in the description, just give it description of your own choice. In packages, because I'm using Amazon Linux 2023, so my platform is Amazon. My version of Linux is 2023. And the architecture is x86 underscore 64. If you are using ARM architecture, then just specify ARM here. Then we have this file. This will be the zip file, which we'll, we will create shortly. But make sure that the file name with the ext extension which you are giving here must be the same as you are using in this line number 16. And then shortly, we will also be putting a checksum here and I will show you how to generate a text checksum. Okay, so these are the three files which you need to have. Once you have created these files, Pick up this install.sh, uninstall.sh, and the RPM or the, the software, the agent, which you have downloaded from CrowdStrike website, and put it in a single directory. I already have put this in this directory. Let me show you. So there we have. We have the RPM of this CrowdStrike agent or, of, or the Falcon sensor. We have install.sh, and we have uninstall.sh, which I just showed you. Don't put manifest.json file here as, as such. Just these three files. Once they are here, we need to zip these files. The command to do that is just run this in your Linux terminal, zip, and the file name should be the same, which I just showed you uh, in the manifest file. Let me again show you that. So this should be the file name, falcon 658zip just grab it, go back to your Linux terminal and put in here a zip file name and then all these three files. This is CrowdStrike agent, install.sh and uninstall.sh. Click enter and this should create a zip file. Let's wait for it to finish. It's very quick. So we have now falcon 658.zip. This is great. Okay, next thing we need to do is to create a checksum for this file. So the command for that is open SSL DGST and then your uh, SHA-256 and just give the zip file full path. 
our full name falcon 658.zip click here and it has generated this SHA or checksum for you just copy it go back to your notepad where you have that manifest.json file and in this file just replace it here so that's all you need to do now save this file and the name should be manifest.json file let me quickly save it so i have uploaded both of these two files which i which we just created one was the zip file and other is the manifest.json file with that checksum in my s3 bucket now we need to go back to our system manager screen and then on the create package screen in the distributor section just give it any name i'm just giving it a demo install and version name should be same as we had used in our manifest.json file let me show you again so as you can see here in line number three we have this version 6.58 which we are specifying in this um, on this ssn screen okay once that's done scroll down and then we need to specify our s3 bucket url which we where we have just uploaded those two files so this is my s3 bucket and then i have created another folder agent and i have uploaded those two files in that agent folder so that is why i have specified this prefix here so that is all done now next all we need to do is to click on this create packet and it will create a distributor packet for us so let me click on this so as soon as i clicked on it it took two or three seconds and it has created my um, distributor package as you can see the status is active and then uh, permissions are private but you can share it with uh, your various accounts or if you are using aws organization you can share it with different ous so this is all there is to it guys um, once you have created your package you can embed it in your pipelines in image builder or you can even use it with um, state manager of ssm to create an association or you could use it in different ways i hope that you liked it and if you like please also consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much